Norfolk is urging in-home child care providers to get licensed. It comes as more parents search for affordable child care amid inflation. Ashley Smith takes a closer look at the city's growing network of providers offering training and resources to caregivers. Many Virginia families say child care is one of their largest expenses and most difficult tasks. Uh, oftentimes, families find themselves on waiting lists as they're pursuing uh, child care. Madonna Flores with the Norfolk Department of Human Services says parents are seeking out affordable child care options. It's why DHS is looking to bolster the pool of providers. We do want to make sure that the children are safe while they are in care. Uh, but there are many providers who have been doing this great work and doing it really well um, and we want to support them. The department-run home-based child care network launched in 2021 to certify in-home caregivers, switching to a licensing model the following year. Flores is program administrator. There were some instances in which some children were harmed and that began to have our uh, city leadership to look into, along with our director, to look into the structure and oversight of family day home. The process can take up to eight months. Flores says it creates creates more opportunities for caregivers. Um, we're not here to, you know, shut down anything that um, people are doing. Currently, our goal and message is to have them come out of the shadows, to have them come and work with us. DHS has already helped 53 percent of Norfolk state identified in-home providers get licensed, offering more quality options for families. If they're seeking child care to uh, really do so with those providers who have received the proper training and are operating legally in the city of Norfolk. Ashley Smith, 13 News Now. To learn more about becoming a home-based child care provider in Norfolk, there's an interest meeting tomorrow night. It starts at 630 at the Department of Human Services on Monticello Avenue.